are you part of a coordinated effort, really, to do this? Has there been some kind of coordinated coup here that you're just the, the first block of? Uh, no, um, if there is a coordination going on, I'm not part of it and I don't know anything about it. I was actually reading with interest some of the stuff which has been circulated apparently over the weekend by the pro and anti camps. None of them sent any of it to me. OK, all right. So, so, so realistically, why right now then? What was it? Was it the no confidence vote that, that triggered it for you, triggered your resignation? You'd be keeping your trap shut before that? No. Yeah, the, um, the reason I, I actually wrote the letter yesterday before right. I knew that there was going to be a no confidence vote today. And the reason why was because um, uh, middle of last week, before the Her Majesty's uh, Platinum Jubilee celebrations got underway, the Prime Minister responded for the first time to the Sue Su Gray report in terms of its effect on the ministerial code. And so I had a chance to read that letter over the course of the long weekend. Um, and I'm afraid what it shows is that the Sue Gray report shows very, very clearly that, uh, that the Prime yeah. Minister you know, had ma major failings of leadership, um, and those are absolutely key. They're a key principle of yeah, the sure. underlying I foundation stone of the ministerial code. And it means that if you've not hid here to those, you've basically yeah. broken the ministerial code. That's what the Sue Gray report is saying. I, I do and therefore, yeah, if you've I do the understand code, that. you've got to resign. Yeah, I do understand that, but I do have to admit what the, the justification you're giving seems to be relying on. What is t uh, technicalities, basically? Yes, they're, they're justified, as you mentioned there. The, there are the Nolan principles, and in your opinion, he's shown to have broken those. But that's all very technical. I mean, are you also... Do you also lose faith in Boris Johnson as an individual, as a man to lead the country? What do you think of Boris Johnson as a leader but, but in the forgive, broader forgive sense? Me. Rather, forgive yeah? me that... The, forgive me, the, the ministerial code and the principles about integrity in public life, so integrity, honesty, leadership, those are not technicalities. No, no, but I mean, you're just a bit... So are you, are you saying you don't the believe... The Prime Minister says so in his own reply. He says these are absolutely essential as the way yes. we do business in our democracy. They're essential for any government. That, those are his words, not mine. So, I think so, mine. so, so by, by definition, then, you don't think, you know, Boris has any integrity. You think he's, he is a liar. Do, what do you think about the man as a leader himself? Because, let's be honest, he did secure a massive majority at the last general election. People put their faith in this man. So I'm, I'm <coughs> making a broader me, po sorry. point. What I'm saying is very straightforwardly and very simply, um, he's broken the ministerial code. Um, and in a serious and mater material way, and that is historically, traditionally and rightly a resignation matter for him, and it has to be a resignation matter for me too.